smells fantastic out here. So we're so happy to have Chef Andrew Winfield here joining us. Hot off a big win. The award is for Outstanding Chef of 2014. Uh, and you're also skilled and obsessively locally at Canadian. So over at River Cafe. So uh, we're bringing the best of both worlds together. First things first, congratulations on your award. That is very exciting. Tell us a little bit about who voted you to win. Uh, there's kind of a, a large group of uh, media and chefs that do a voting committee. So there's nominations that come in and they sit down and go through all the nominations and pick who they think would be the best representative of the Canadian culture. Okay, so do you actually compete? Do you submit an entry? No, there's no submissions that I know of. Okay, so it's your peers knowing your work and other experts yes. in the field. They just kind of come out and see you at the restaurant and I think they just know what's going on across Canada. What an honor. It's a great honor. It's very privileged to feel it. Yeah, and you get a plaque? And I get a plaque. <laughs> How about that? To share at the River Cafe so you can go down and see it and have some delicious eats too. Okay, so of course we wanted to call on you because you're known for using local fare Canadian ingredients as well at the River Cafe. And that's basically, you stay true to that yes. all of all seasons. And for great reasons. There are there's just so many fantastic things that are around in Canada right now. So, uh, like for example, this time of year I'm finding it really interesting and fun that we're pairing back up with Silver Sage, a great local producer mm -hmm. of beef. So there's somebody that we're working with at the restaurant. Um, we have some fantastic cherries that are just starting up in a Soyuz. So okay. we're handling that. Uh, we make cherry a, season's upon us. Cherry season is here. So you know, whenever a season starts, we embrace the season really fully. Mm -hmm. So if it's cherry season right now, there's going to be six or seven, maybe eight. 10, 12 dishes that are on the menu with cherries. Okay, fantastic. So when you get that season, enjoy it as much as you can because it's going to be gone shortly. Absolutely. Take full advantage. Okay, so what are we pulling together here? Well, we have a little bit of skirt steak, so it's something that people aren't as familiar with, but it's something that takes well to a marinade. Okay. So we've made a beautiful little marinade out of a lot of local green onions. Mm -hmm. So uh, friends at Leaf and Lyre, who do a lot of urban agriculture around, they have green onions that are growing in people's backyards. So they go around, they set up places to go, the part of CSAs, um, they have a great co-op at the Heritage Farmers Markets that are around. Yep. Um, we take that with the green onions, pop it on the grill, make sure it gets a good marinade, a good slow cook to it, so that way you can really develop the rich flavors that it has. Okay, when you say good marinade, what's the timing on it? How long are we leaving that stuff? Uh, for this steak right now, we've marinated at least 24 hours, yeah. uh, six to eight minimum. Okay. And that lets everything kind of penetrate in and develop the flavor. Okay, and this is what people know you were saying as the fajita steak. Right, so a skirt steak is more of a traditional fajita steak, but mm -hmm. it is something that hangs closer to the ribeye and the tenderloin, so it has a little bit more of a texture to it, so it takes well to a marinade or a tenderization. So okay. maybe a little hammer, pound it out. Okay. Big cast iron if you have it. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, go to town. Yeah. All right, and we've got high heat going on, low heat high heat going on. It cooks quite fast. Um, it has very large striations in the muscles, so that way it takes to the heat really well. Mm -hmm. But you want to cook it really fast and then take it to about a medium, medium well almost on this one. Okay. So medium rare is a little bit too on the lighter, tougher side, right. so you want to take it up just a little bit more to the medium. Okay, fantastic. Are we ready to, to go or does this need some more time? No, we're good to go. Okay. Fantastic. So we have to go and we're just going to make uh, a salad of the cherries. So, Can I help? What do you... Absolutely. You want okay. to pick a couple cherries? Yeah, for sure. Picking cherries is always the fun part. Oh, okay. Oh, you might have to see. So, a little cherry pitter. Oh, there's a tool for this. Absolutely. You can use a knife, but this is really quick and easy in the season, so you just need to pop the cherry inside of it like that. Yeah. And that way you just go through and you just kind of give it a good squeeze, and then you should be able to have, like, the pit come right out the bottom. So, there you go. All right. And then we're going to take that. <laughs> we're going to add cherries. So... Beautiful. Great in the season right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to add the English peas. Gorgeous. So we've had those done marinated. Beautiful color. A little bit of toasted quinoa, so it's always nice to uh, give it a bit of a toasting before you cook so that we can develop the nutty flavors that's coming out okay, in it. Okay, so you toss it in a pan and then throw toss it in for a while. A little bit of olive oil, let it toast so you can smell like the popcorn smells coming off mm -hmm. of it. And then that way, start cooking like you would a little rice peel off afterwards. Gorgeous. Okay, what's next? Blue cheese, tiger well blue. cherries. So this is from Poplar Grove, uh, Poplar Grove Winery. So it is known as a tiger blue, but it is a beautiful stripes across the entire cheese. Very pungent, fantastic. One of the top cheeses in Canada right now. So we add a little bit of that. And then we have uh, Venturi Schultz balsamic okay. from Vancouver Island. Beautiful. So again, uh, a beautiful balsamic that's been aged 12 years. So you're getting that really um, luscious flavor that's coming out into it. We're just going to add a little bit of the balsamic. Lovely. Camelina oil where we get from three farmers 
uh, located in the southern Saskatchewan area. So there are three different types of uh, farmers working together to produce this camelina, which is a heritage grain. Okay. So what that, does that oil taste like? It, it tastes like. Um, with the peas, it actually tastes like peas and asparagus and green. Mm. It tastes like spring and summer. Okay, so wonderful. It's a, it's a wonderful addition. A little seasoning. A little sea salt. And then if you take a look at the actual steak itself, you can usually see the actual markings where the grain run. So you try to cut across the grain so that way you increase the tenderness. Got it. So we will have that little slicing and it slices like butter. Beautiful. So, Beautiful steak, something that people don't use a lot, but they can definitely work towards developing different kind of cuts. Okay. What we appreciate is the idea that you want to have variety mm -hmm. uh, from the animal, so that way we're using lots of different parts. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. We have that. We we're are out of time, salad. Chef. Are you just going to, oh, you're going to toss that yeah. up? They're just going to have a little bit of salad with it, and then that's it. Come on. Fresh cherries and steak. Beautiful, and that's what makes you the most outstanding chef of 2014. Congratulations, <laughs> uh, Chef much. Andrew Winfield here cooking for us. And as always, beautiful fare at the River Cafe, open for business, and it is a great season for it. That patio is spectacular, and, and so is the food.